Gaijin recently did an interview with a gaming magazine about their game, in which they confirmed the addition of Gen 4 aircraft this year. This has caused a lot of speculation on the War Thunder forums and Reddit about what jet people think will be added. Here's my take. I think Gaijin will add new top tier aircraft for a few nations at first, namely the US, Russia, and France, and maybe some of the others. The reason I don't include Germany, Great Britain, and Italy and some other nations on this game is because of Gaijin's dubious track record when it comes to adding new top tier machines for those nations, along with some problems that adding certain machines for those nations might come with. France would normally be an exception if it were not for this following Twitch clip. Any news about the premium French Mirage? No. It's been a tuition par premiums mm. given. There will be some premiums in the next patch, but I, I won't tell you what. Um, wow, I won't tell you the following. Mike. There's going to be a, a very, 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 very sought after premium. That's all I'm going to say. It's going to sell like hotcakes, which also means it's going to get completely destroyed in the matchmaker. Now, as we can see from this clip, a new high tier premium will be added next patch. Many people have speculated that it will be the F-14A, but I do not think this is the case for the following reasons. First, the US already has top tier premiums, and quite a lot at that. Second, Gaijin doesn't really like to add top tier, in quotes, premiums, and an F-14 will most certainly fit that description. Third, this clip was in reference to French premiums, and France currently lacks any rank 6 premium. This brings us on to what I think the premium will be, and I think it'll be the Mirage F1. If Gaijin added only this as a premium with no other top tier aircraft, France players would understandably lose their shit, so I think the Mirage 2000 will also be added for France as a Gen 4 aircraft. As for other nations, I think the US will get the F-14A, it's already been spotted in the CDK, and Gaijin confirmed they're working on it as early as early 2021. It'll probably not come with the Phoenix missile, and instead we'll use the AIM-9L and AIM-7F. For Russia, I think they'll add the MiG-29A and just maybe put it in the German tree as well. If not that, then Germany might get the Tornado, but that's a heavy might because apparently getting the rights to use and model the Tornado has been a pain, for, pain in the ass for game publishers for a while now. The UK might also get the Tornado, but might not at the same time for those previously stated reasons. I don't really see Japan getting anything this past, but if they do, they might get the F2 or an early version of the F-15, but I doubt it. As for China, I don't really know too much about Chinese aircraft, so I won't really speculate here. Italy has a chance of getting the F-16A, and as discussed, I think France will end up with the Mirage 2000 c I don't think Sweden or Israel will be getting anything for this coming patch, but that's just because their next-gen aircraft are probably too advanced for the game at this moment. So that concludes my speculation on this recent War Thunder news. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and let me guys know what you think in the comments below.